So uh, I went ahead and hooked up the battery charger and I have it connected to the negative. So just remember always gotta, this is how Porsche likes it. So you go ahead and then got the, the red going to the positive. So it's very easy to tell there's a negative and then this is the positive. And then what you want to do is then 50 amps. Okay, so everything's set. I'm going to go inside the car. And then um, access the OBD2 port. So pretty easy. You just pop this open. And off it goes and then set that aside and then what you want to do is this is a there's obd2 port there right okay so here's the genius i'm just gonna take the cable and then plug it into here All right and then it goes pretty easy and what I'm going to do is put the key in the ignition. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Genius. And here we go. So there it is. You can see it already see the car. And what I'm going to do is now plug in the battery. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And you can see. the car it's actually the, it's on everything's good what I'm going to do now is turn on the car and work swing just go ahead and press ok and then what you want to do is select the new file which is modified and you see the file name it's going to be right there and you hit OK. And then it's basically going to read the file on the MyGenius app device. And once it is um, read, it's going to give you a warning message about the battery, which we just covered. And just make sure you have that battery charger connected to your car, and everything will be good. So at this point, what you're going to do is turn on the ignition. Turn it on, um, hit OK, and let the genius speak to the car. And what you want to do is once, just basically let let it run its course. So right now it's riding to the ECU. Nothing's happening on the dash. It's just normal. And this is the part where you just wait. Let the paint dry. It's talking to the car, and it's just going to slowly progress. And you can mod, as you can see, I'm looking at the screen, nothing's happening on the dash, so just waiting and just wait. You know, um, it jumps over to about almost 50% completion um, relatively quickly, I would say about in two minutes, and then it's just gonna keep going, just let it do its thing, um, don't interrupt it, uh, it's just gonna keep riding, and there it goes. It's gonna ask you to switch off the car so you turn off the car that's okay after you turned it off and you the my genius device is going to go through um, the same safety warning about making sure it's connected just hit okay and it's going to communicate again 
to the device and it's going to say ECU is programming. So just let that run to completion. You can just watch the screen, it just goes. Um, the dash is not doing anything. So what you're going to basically do is just wait. There's just pretty much a waiting game at this time and this is the part where it's actually writing to the ECU and it's basically uploading that new modified modified FBD stage 2 file to the, the ECU you can just wait and it's going to complete on its own um, the car is on you know and it's just programming away just follow the screen the my genius device is very intuitive it's just going to progress the little toolbar is going to forward and go to the right side of the screen indicating that it's done so we're almost there it's it's going it's going it's about 90 percent here and you'll see is once it's done it's just going to go to the full bar of status which is done and there you go let's just switch off the car so notice that you will get a reduced power that's fine just shut the car off press ok and it's going to basically um, complete the process and then it's going to say switch the car on so go ahead and I'm switching the car on and I'm going to press ok and now it's going to I believe this is a verification step. It just basically goes and checks everything on the ECU and it's gonna come back and it just says wait. Just follow the screen on the My Genius and you'll be done momentarily. So there it is, it says switch off again. So we're gonna turn the turn the car off. I'm gonna press OK and then now it's the same, same warning about the battery charger. Just hit OK. And then it's going to um, do the same thing again. And what you want to do is just let the My, My Genius device do what it needs. Now it says switch off. And then hit OK. And then it says writing EC completed. And now you are done. This is done, done. So you have the key out the car. I'm going to hit OK. And um, it's initiating the login in progress. And this is basically done. Everything is done and said. The ECU is now programmed with the new FBD. And what you're hearing every time with the loud exhaust, that's when I'm stepping on the accelerator and the exhaust is responding. Um, when I feather it, 
you barely hear it. When I press harder, the exhaust will actually get louder. It's that linear. You can actually hear it in the exhaust when I am actuating the accelerator. Just driving out the my neighborhood and couldn't let the let the boxer get up to speed here or get up to temperature. It's, it's, it's like 73 degrees outside. The engine's like 158 degrees right now. Initial impressions is it's definitely louder. And this is just in normal mode. So once again it seems like with the headers and now the new tune and I was actually corrected it's a it's a stage two tune or a level two tune from FVD that I got um, on Friday afternoon so as you, as you can tell from the earlier footage I flashed it it was a lot less dramatic you know it was the constant on off on off I never had to turn the engine on. Uh, engine's at 176 degrees. I'm just gonna keep cruising until it gets to probably uh, its normal temperature, which is 194 for this car. So I'm just gonna cruise over here and drive and see. Uh, so far, so good. Um, it does sound louder, which I've always liked. Definitely louder. Um, you can definitely hear the the, the car is breathing a lot better. Um, the acceleration is like it was in the past. Very, it's it's instantaneous. It's it feels linear. You know. gauges look good. I'm at 191 degrees and oil temperature is 144 degrees. Uh, so just overall pretty good. I'm just going to keep driving. I'm at 192 degrees. So probably in about 3-4 minutes I'll be able to put it into sport mode and see how much louder. Yeah, so it's very, it's, it's nice, like, it's like um, the past where the car will idle around 600 RPMs and it's doing that right now in just uh, normal, non-sport mode. It's nice, so nice and quiet. Still sitting at 192 degrees. All temperatures now at 144, so pretty warmed up. up to the to light here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in sport mode. Alright I'm gonna press the sport button. Okay so the idle is now at 800. In the past it was a thousand. So that's slightly different which is nice. It is different. Oh yeah. It is much
much more torque here. Good gracious. That is... I like that tune. So, I've noticed is when I am at 6,000 RPM, it is, it is definitely more, it, it's just that the exhaust note is different and then the, the engine just seems like it's a lot more freer, there's no restrictions. That's at 5,000 RPMs and it gets super, you get that higher intense exhaust note. So on the interstate, it is much faster to get up to speed. It's it's definitely the acceleration, uh, the engine is a lot freer. You can totally feel the response. I got up to let's just say I got over I got over 85 miles per hour in third gear without a problem. It's not the engine just has so much more there's it's just amazing I think that definitely rounded out the headers because I can tell with, with, when I didn't get the tune it was great it was awesome but you could definitely feel that there is improvements all across the power band now and you could definitely feel that the engine is now or the the ECU now knows how to manipulate the engine and knows how to um, time everything. It just feels almost like a different car. It's spectacular. It is just, it is wonderful. It's hard to put into words. It's just this, the rawness of the engine is, is now enhanced on so many different levels. The low end gears are just so much happier now. It's that power band in in second and third is is awesome. second gear is crazy you can totally ring it out and it still keeps going I never even get to red line good gracious holy Toledo oh 
Oh my gosh, you can like totally push it harder now. God, I never need to shift. I could just stay in third gear. So the one thing I've always liked about getting the headers and getting my exhaust and the tunes is like, if I'm always one gear over, you know, the Boxster still sounds normal, you know, and that's even when I'm in sport mode. Like when I'm in non-sport mode, it's even more like docile. It just seems like it doesn't have headers, it doesn't have a tune, it doesn't have the exhaust, you know, it's just like, couldn't ask for the more for a better composed car absolutely just truly composed and utterly amazing so the popping and gurgling is a much higher tone now in the past it was a little bit deeper it's almost like more like a, a very high pop you know it's just a higher tone All right, in the happy spot. Mm. going to go ahead and say um, you absolutely need to get a tune there's no way to get headers and not get a tune because there is a dramatic difference um, I drove for probably I want to say 200 miles without the tune and it was nice it was you could see that I can feel that it was the acceleration was more responsive. It was definitely torquier. Um, the exhaust note got louder all across from non-sport mode to sport mode. Um, it just seemed like it was much deeper when it was just the headers, you know, uh, when I got the headers installed. But now that I have the, the header and the, the level two tune from FED, it seems like the, the mapping is different because the uh, popping and the gurgling is now much higher of a note range instead of a deeper range. Uh, the, the low end is much more improved. And then the top end of each gear is improved as well. You can definitely feel the response. You could definitely feel like the top end 
has more speed. It's it's impressive. I mean, I used to be able to get in second gear, you know, to 70. You know, I can get to 70 faster now. And then I and then it just seems like getting to redline is a lot easier. And when you get to redline, you can hear that exhaust note just become um, dramatic. It, it's 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 just hard to explain. It's so hard to explain. But right now, based off of what I've, you know, um, experienced in the last um, uh, 20 miles of driving it, it's it's amazing. It, it is amazing. Absolutely. Just, I mean, the 981 base is an amazing car. When I got it, I loved it. I, I was really impressed with it. And then now that, you know, I've got the K&N, air filter you know i've got the boiler exhaust i've got you know the top k headers the high performance 200 cell headers and i've got you know um the level one tune and now the level two tune it's different um i need to go find someone that has a box dress so if anyone out there you have a 2015 box dress i'd love to meet up with you i'd love to just compare and contrast and just see you know maybe um a freeway run you know see what it is neck to neck i definitely know that there's no way um s will sound like this car stock no way it's it's impossible um this car is is seriously epic 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 love this car more um i cannot i cannot express how you know the last you know few years of trying to get to this stage you know and this car only has 19,468 miles um it's incredible it's it's hard to just put into words how amazing this car is this car is just a whole different level so for those of you out there that have a boxer you know just the base boxer you know you you definitely should contemplate you know putting that extra money into you know at least you know the the level one tune from fed that that first tune you know sometimes i i might flash my car back to that file and just see how this car reacts um i may do that if i get enough um comments or if someone reaches out to me directly or around you know because i am in the atlanta metro area if i go to I mean, I'm, I may just, you know, if someone asks me, I may just do it and drive and get another response. I can tell you is the, the level one tune was, that's where the money is. I, I think that if you own, you know, just a, a base boxer, you have nothing in it, no add-on, nothing thrown in, nothing bolted on, get that level one tune. That level one tune is, is amazing. It takes, it takes away that restriction from the factory because of you know the US EPA you know that thing is just that's just it that just made the car come alive in that one shot i mean you know do yourself a favor get that tune and i don't want to preach but i will say you can't go wrong with FED FED is amazing the customer service is amazing you know um just dealing with you know fed especially ronda ronda's great ronda's in florida i i totally adore ronda she's fantastic you know she's always been straightforward she's very very courteous she's the best part she's just expeditious she's freaking on it you know so with that said i'm just gonna leave this as uh and it's awesome it really is awesome you can't you just got to get it. That's all I have to say. Just get it. Just get it. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode. I like that too. just gotta get it. That's all I have to say. Just get it. Just get it.